I talked briefly last week about The Ugly Face of Disability, the Adam Pearson uh, documentary. If you didn't listen last week, this was uh, a documentary hosted by Adam, who is an actor. He's uh, an, actor. In, an actor. He was in Under the Skin with Scott Johansson. He suffers from a, a disease there. Tumors grow on his face, and the whole documentary was him looking at you know, why is disabled hate crime different from religious hate crime and things like that. I'd be very interested to hear both of your thoughts on the, on the episode. I thought this was uh, incredible. I, I thought this was one of the better documentaries. I know we talked last week about Don't Take Away My oh, Baby, but it. I actually think that this was more in line with what I perceived the disability series would be. Yes, you genuinely felt sorry for him, but all also, you saw how he wasn't going to let people feel sorry for him. You know, this guy was living his life and doing things despite his disability, not not through anything else. And he was genuinely, you know, I know they talked about it. He was genuinely funny and genuinely a good TV presenter, I thought. Well, I say well, we've Matt met him. I met yeah. him a couple of times yeah, during yeah. our time in Edinburgh. I didn't know who he was at no. the time. He, he did um, introduce himself as a um, producer or researcher like on the Undateables. Yeah. He's on the Undateables, mm. isn't he? Yeah. Like a, as a behind the scenes, uh, and I do like Adam a lot, but I don't know whether this had a very clear message. I would agree um, with it was a bit broad at times. I would agree with you there. Oh, I, I I was fascinated most, and I know I mentioned it last week was the thing where they all took that test, and and then they met him and talked to him, and then they took the test again. To me, what this whole series is about is it's raising the profile oh, of yeah. uh, uh, no, of I'd people with disabilities, I, I and this was the thing. From. Yeah, I'm somewhere, I, in, I, the, I'm I, somewhere I, in the middle, I think, of you yeah, two. I, I just okay. think in the hands of a lesser presenter, because I did, I did warm to Adam, and I, I think I would have, yeah. even if we hadn't had the previous exposure, I think it would have lost me in places, because I think it was just a little bit lost of what its eventual yeah, message was. Yeah, it, it was sort of broad, and because some of it was about him and his, you know, the stuff with YouTube and stuff like the, that. The stuff, with, the stuff with the stand-up comedy, I was just genuinely uncomfortable with this define the label season yeah. is fantastic i think if they've if they've done one thing wrong and mm. it's not, the shows are great i think they've just packed a lot into yeah the week three weeks yeah yeah so, you know if they could do one of these shows a week or two of these shows a week that would have you know i'm a bit it, it does I think feel these shows like are having great, one but every they, night has been yeah packed. i think they've had I, what, I suppose, really three or four it, three or four a week yeah. The thing is, is that we're thinking about that because we are uh, podcast, you know, we're television reviewers True. and we want to watch True. them. Actually, the bit, the joy is, if you want to watch these, you've now got them for a month left on iPlayer, so True. you can That's enjoy them. Right. So we are, we are yeah. thinking of it slightly differently. And, and yeah. finally, just to finish off the BBC Three programming, the boy who wants his leg cut off is that. Are we yeah. happy with that being the title? Well, it was, it was it very... I only watched it this evening, so, you know, people well, got It home. was a, quite started. a Channel 4 title, that, wasn't it, mm. really? Yeah, I... no, I agree with you, yeah. yes. Uh, this was about an 11-year-old called Dylan who had a mm -hmm. condition where... Was it one leg was growing faster than the other? Yeah, and then no, he, uh, similar it, it, to Adam, he had tumours as well. It's yeah. similar to Adam where, where yeah... The... One leg is one leg is is bigger than the other, and it's to do with the um, the same thing as Adam, isn't it? The what do they call them in the face? The uh... well, I'm not sure of the medical term, no. but he had tumours well, going see, on. Sorry, like there. LFI or something. I've just yeah. seen it. So I'm not and really and sure. I, I, well, as the title would suggest, he wanted an amputation because mm -hmm. he um, didn't feel like he could be an 11 year old boy with one leg that he couldn't do much with. He ha basically hated the leg. You know, he wanted to be playing football, running with his friends. And there was a scene yeah. where they went to like a sports shop and his friends were looking at rugby boots. And he was like, oh, I wish I, you know. And there were various meetings. They went to the States to find out about like a, a drug trial. And various doctors said, oh, we can't operate, you know, we can't do an amputation. I personally thought it was fascinating. And I thought Dylan himself was just, a, you know, just a wonderful lad, I think. Uh, right, I think it's right so refreshing the, to have right, such yeah. an eloquent young yeah, person on the television. Right from the, the start, television. when he's up in front of his school explaining, his, you know, he starts at yeah. uh, See, secondary school. That when... could have been so corny, yeah. couldn't it? It could have been so cheesy. And he was just wonderful. My name is Dylan Chapman and I wanted to talk to you all today to explain my condition and what challenges I face. It has tumours that have grown from my nerve endings and through my body. My most affected area is my left foot. Here's Dylan. 
and that's why I need to use a wheelchair to get around as my walking is limited. If I knock my leg or foot, it is extremely painful and it reduces me to tears as if I had an electric shock or something. Thank you. I have had many operations since the age of four, but now I have refused all surgery until I can get my leg amputated. Do you guys want to ask me any a, a question? Is this a condition you were born with? Yeah, I was born with it. Uh, yes, Malcolm. <coughs> um, has anyone teased you? I have had the mick taken out of me. How I run and stuff and walk, it's a big kind of stare and, you know, I don't like it. Do you ever feel sad when you see other kids run around? Yeah. Sometimes I just wish I was normal. Thank you for, um... For an 11 year old, as you say, incredibly mature, you know, knowing his own mind, knowing what he wanted, you know, everyone was saying, you know, if you have it amputated, it won't grow mm. back, blah, blah, blah. Similar to what Luke said last week about, you know, when you empathise with somebody, you really feel for this kid. And, and they don't kind of pull on the heartstrings too much, but you really do kind of feel like it's a shame that he's going through this. And as you say, the scene when he's talking in front of his friends and when he's in the sports shop, you think, gosh, you know, you take so many of those things for granted. That actually, and the stuff about him swimming think as about well, how which I thought was very heartbreaking mm. when he was talking yeah. about being on holiday and this woman saying, you know, get out of the pool with your horrible leg and him going back, at, you know, you seeing him going back into the pool. and I've seen how- so many documentaries with, with sort of sensationalist titles, mm. for want of a better word, who... Ex- that exploit or, you know, put, point the finger at people. And this felt so genuine. Mm. Dylan was so yeah, lovely. this is not the 20 snow and, uh, man can't move out of his home or things this, like that. No, he was so lovely, and I think it's just nice to have an eloquent young person fronting their own documentary.